given that packet switch technology can deliver services far more cost efficiently than today's circuit switched technology an efficient voice encoding and decoding mechanism is vital a voice coder that is vocoder also referred to as coder and decoder or simply codec the purpose of vocoder is to use the analog signal whose provenance is a human speech and transform and compress it into digital data a number of factors must be taken into account to evaluate the best vocoder where best refers to the optimal quality versus bandwidth trade off a set of such criteria includes bandwidth usage silence compression intellectual property look ahead and frame size as well as resilience to loss layered coding and fixed point versus floating point criteria for vocoder the bit rate of available narrowband codecs using today's technology ranges from 1.2 to 64 kbps with an inevitable effect on the quality of restituted voice there is ordinarily but not always a trade off between voice quality and bandwidth used using the most efficient codec available today allows quasi toll quality where toll quality is equivalent to a pstn telephone conversation and bandwidth use usage to be as low as 5 kbps as newer and more sophisticated algorithms are developed in the future this figure will decrease and allows more samples to be squeezed more efficiently while minimally sacrificing quality if at all during a conversation a speaker talks an average of 35% of the time therefore silence compression or suppression is an important feature in a point to point conversation this feature saves approximately half of the bandwidth the savings are even greater in a decentralized multicast where packets are efficiently destined to multiple nodes on the network silence compression includes three major components voice activity detector that is vad discontinuous transmission that is dtx and comfort noise generator that is cng vad is responsible for determining when the user is talking and when he is silent dtx is the ability of a codec to stop transmitting frames when the vad has detected a silence period cng is used to reduce background noise so that the line is not completely silent even if neither party is transmitting most narrowband codecs compress voice in chunks that is frames and need look ahead information that is these codecs require information about the samples immediately following the samples that they are currently encoding the minimal delay introduced by a coding and decoding sequence is the frame length plus the look ahead size that is algorithmic delay codecs with a small frame length have a lesser delay than those with a longer frame length but introduce 
a larger overhead as mentioned earlier as most implementation choose to send multiple frames per packet and the real frame length to take into account is the sum of all frames stacked in a single ip packet the smaller the frame size the more frames in an ip packet thereby there is minimal influence on latency in fact it is even better to employ codecs that have been designed for the longest frame length that is with acceptable delay since this allows even more efficient coding techniques in ip networks packet loss will occur which in turn causes codec frame loss this loss is exacerbated on the internet where packet loss occurs in a correlated manner so that several consecutive packets may be lost thus implementing rudimentary redundancy or recovery from packet loss may not be productive if the algorithm only protects against intermittent or non consecutive packet loss it is possible to reduce the frame loss associated with packet loss through some advanced techniques forward error correction that is fec style redundancy can be used to recover from serious loss conditions but at the expense of delay alternatively multiple send redundancy can be utilized but it would transmit more packets and if router congestion were the cause then using this technique would not be beneficial most codecs today can only multicast voice at a single level of quality that is bit rate therefore it would not be possible to transmit the same data at different quality rates to multiple listeners without sending separate streams some codecs still at the experimental stage can produce several data streams simultaneously one with the core information needed for military quality reception and others with more information to rebuild a higher fidelity sound digital signal processor that is dsps are optimized for operations frequently encountered in signal processing algorithms floating point dsps are capable of operating on floating point numbers fixed point dsps can operate on two fixed point operands only if the power of two is the same on both operands therefore the latter is less powerful but also computationally less expensive ITUT specifications the ITU has rigorous process in approving vocoders before a codec is chosen the ITU evaluates the mean opinion scores that is mos and usually requires toll quality or better where toll quality is defined in G.726 via RFC 2422 among many criteria the codec must meet one acceptable quality for men and women of varying ages accents and languages second resilience to background noise third minor degradation of voice quality after several successive coding and decoding processes 
fourth ability to pass dual tone multi frequency that is dtmf signals transparently fifth ability to easily transcode the coded signal into other itu standard coders and sixth is satisfactory quality even after some frame loss